good everyone my name is graphics in this video we want to solve a problem involving friction on an inclined plane and the question goes like this it says an effort of 200 newton is required just to move a certain body up an inclined plane of angle 15 degree the force acting parallel to the plane if the angle of inclination of the plane is made 20 degree the effort required again applied parallel to the plane is found to be 230 newton find the weight of the body and coefficient of friction now in this kind of question what we are going to do is for we to draw a free body diagram it's going to assist us now we said we have two situation here the first situation is when an effort of 200 newton is required to move a body up an inclined plane and the second situation and that um, inclined plane is an angle of what 15 degree just like you can see on the screen right so this is the object moving up the inclined plane with an effort which is what 200 newton that effort is the force and the angle of inclination is what 15 degree right now for the second case we still have another object which is now which is pulled up see the same object but now this particular object is pulled up an inclined plane with an extra effort while increasing it to what 250 newton is that okay now because of what the angle of inclination has been increased because one thing you need to understand is that the steeper an inclined plane, the more difficult it is to move an object up the inclined plane, right? So the more we're increasing the angle of inclination, the more the effort required to pull an object up an inclined plane increases. So this is the two situations we have here, right? So there's one thing you need to know that when an object is moved up an inclined plane, the formula given is the summation of what f of x is equals to what w sine theta plus what mu w cos theta when the object is moving up an inclined plane but when the object is moving down an inclined plane the positive there becomes negative so it becomes the negative of what i have on the screen is that okay now let's move back to our work here so if i should apply this in the two equation for the first equation i'll be having the summation of f of x which will be given as my force right and that will be given as what 50 that will be given as what 200 newton equals to my w in the question is not given sine theta what is my theta 15 degree plus mu that is the question of friction is not given and also w is not given so mu w cos the angle which is what 15 degree right now if i move forward i'm going to be having um the 200 equals to now if you look between my w sine theta and mu w cos theta something is common in both of them and that is what w which is the weight i'll bring it out i'm going to be having w into bracket sine 15 degree right then mu cos 15 degree so in this case this is what i'll be having now if i make my w the subject of the formula here because that is what we're looking for we're told to look for w in the equation in the question here that is the weight if i make it this other formula the w here will now be giving us 200 all over sine 15 plus mu cos 15 this is what my w will be giving me so i'm going to call it equation one now that's for case one so i'll write it up here that's for case one now for case two the same situation will be happening we know that an object up an inclined plane is positive just like you can see in the equation that says summation of what 
f of x equals to what w sin theta plus mu w cos theta because the object is moving up an inclined plane now what is my summation of f of x that is the force the effort given right and here we are giving it to be what 200 and what 250 newton equals to now we have w sine theta since w is not given in the same situation in this situation that be w sine 20 degree because the angle here of inclination is 20 degree so we have w sine 20 plus mu is also given that is the quotient of friction multiplied by w multiplied by cos 20 degree because the mu is not given and w is not given now this will now give me 250 will now be equals to now if you look at these two here between the two equation there's something that is common in both sides and that is w so if i bring w out i'll be having w into bracket sine 20 degree plus mu cos 20 degree i would are you with me now now if i make my w this subject of the formula just like i did in the other case my w now will now be equals to 250 divided by sine 20 degree plus mu cos 20 degree I'll call this my equation 2. Now, what do you notice? Equation 1, W is equal, the weight is equal to um, 200 all over what? Sine 15 plus mu cos 15. That's for equation 1. Then for equation 2, we have similar case, which is W is equal to what? 250 divided by sine 20 plus mu cos 20. Now, since W is equating is equal in both sides, now, I will now say that the two equations will be equal to each other. Because the W is the same, we are talking about the same W is common in both sides, right? So I will now say that my 200 all over W, 200 all over, we have sine 15 degree plus mu cos 15 degree equals to 250 all over sine 20 degree plus mu cos 20 degree this is what we have here is that the key now so we've equated the two equations together now what we are going to do is we are going to cross multiply now now in cross multiplying we're going to be having the 200 the um 200, this particular one here will be coming up to multiply the 200 so we'll be having 200 into bracket sine 20 plus mu cos 20 equals to the two this 250 this sine 15 plus mu cos 15 will be coming up to multiply the 250 that we are cross multiplying and that will give me 250 into bracket sine 15 plus mu cos 15 now if you input sine 20 in your calculator you're going to be having 0.3420 Plus, if you input cost 20 in your calculator, you're going to be having 0 0.9397 mu, right? Because there's mu here already. Equals to 250 into bracket. If you, if you input sine 15 in your calculator, you'll be having 0 0.259. Plus, if you input cost 15 in your calculator, you'll be having 0 0.9659. Then, multiply by the mu. Now, if I expand this, 200 multiplied by 0 0.3420 will give us 68.4 plus 200 multiplied by 0 0.9397 will give us 187.94 mu equals to 250 multiplied by 0 0.259 will give us 64.75 plus 250 multiplied by 0 0.9659 will give us 241.475 mu. Now, if I collect like terms, I'll bring this is the 4.75 to the left hand side, it will now become negative. So I'll be having 68.4 minus 64.75 equals to if I bring the 187.94 mu to the right hand side, I'm going to be having 241.475 mu minus it's become minus now. 
187.94 mil, right? This is what we have here. So if you subtract 68.4 minus 64.75, you'll be having 3.65 equals to if you subtract 241.475 mu minus 187.94 mu, you'll be having 53.535 mu. Now when you do that, if you make the mu dissolve the formula, that means you're dividing both sides by 53.535, you're going to be having 3.65 all over 53.535 equals to what our mu here we have. So if you divide it, my mu now will now be equal to what? 0 0.068. So that is the question of friction. And it doesn't have any units. Now, if you look at this now, we've gotten the mu. So if you input your mu, if you substitute your mu into any of the equation up, either equation 1 or equation 2, you get the same answer. So I'll substitute mu equals to 0 0.068 into equation 1. So I'll now be having, what's my equation 1? My equation 1 is 200, right? All over sine 15 plus mu cos 15. That's my equation 1. If you like, you can also use equation 2. So if I input it, I'll now be having um, W to be equals to 200 all over 0 0.259 plus mu. What is the mu? 0 0.068 multiplied by cos 15. So this will now give us W will now be equal to 200 all over. Now we know that um, my sine 20 is 0 0.259. Is that taking? That's what we have there. That is my sine 15 is 0 0.259. So if I should put it there plus my cos 15 is what? 0 0.0657. So if you multiply it, my cos 15 is given to be what? That will be having a 0 0.9659. That is my cos 15. So if you multiply it by 0 0.068, which is the mu, we are going to be having w to be equals to 200 all over 0 0.259 plus 0 0.0657 so w which is the weight will now be equal to 200 all over if you add 0 0.259 plus 0 0.0657 you'll be having 0 0.3247 so when you divide 200 by 0 0.3247 it'll be taking your w which is your weight to be equal to what 615.95 newton so that is the weight of the body, and this is the quotient of refraction of the body, right? So, if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like, comment, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.